tipsy Trojan car drifts along the M18, moving at 50 frames per second. It is the 31st of December, and the clock on the dash flashes a red 2358 on the brink of 2020. Nothing is open, I don't know where I'm going, even the 24-7 Asda is closed, I know, because I went there and it was dead, so I sat in the car park for half an hour, that was roughly an hour ago. I feel flat, two-dimensional and grey, gallivanting to somewhere unknown. Clad in the usual, I am black jeans and a vest, eyes masked with colour and lunettes, tinting the shot rose. Street lights with intense passing glares roll and unravel across the side windows. My car eats the road as tarmac slips under rubber tyres. The radio buzzes and weird janky tune from the point seven of the 20th century. The steering wheel is here and so are the pedals for once. The metal frame brackets the interior from the exterior. We near the turn off so I click the indicator although no one was around to see. It ticks like a clock and till the wheels straighten and then it is quiet again. I pull up to the 24 hour jewel station. Outside was a donna, around the age of 50 with brown growing hair, stood behind the stool selling second-hand word page collections in a pool of orange from the tall floodlights. She made the composition, with the surrounding rustling feels, look almost uneven considering the smooth station night landscape. A contrast of texture, a spill in the natural tonal palette. I decided to check out the collection to see if there was anything queer. The donna told me her name was Gaia. She didn't say much else. I found David Hume and Orlando. I go into the station and buy snacks because there was nothing else I wanted to buy and I felt the need to get something. The guy at the counter had a name tag emblazoned on his jacket. It, Karen. His face looked as if it was melting with sunken eyes and short dark hair flattened on his forehead. Went back to the car, put the books in the passenger seat for later, sipped on a few more while checking the timeline, nothing, and then hit the road once again. I am the fool, I am the idiot, a fresh idealistic car from the deck, on the edge of a windowsill hypnotised by the view. Bear in mind, this is only the overture of a traditional timeline. The magician and high priestess get into the back seat, for they are now temporarily the passengers.